toughest prison in the country, that's Dartmoor, the home of many desperate criminals and men who are serving life sentences. The amazing outbreak seems strange to us in this country, though America is accustomed to such incidents. But American prisons are usually overcrowded, and the prison system in Great Britain is at least humane. All of you must have read by now how the 400 prisoners mutinied and ran amok, setting fire to the governor's office and smashing all before them. The Pathé cameramen certainly weren't there when the battle started, because it wasn't staged for film purposes. But we were there shortly afterwards by specially chartered aeroplane. The building still burning, the prison in a state of siege. And now let's have a look at it from the air. There are some of the convicts being marshalled up by warders aided by police. All quiet on the Dartmoor front. At least we hope so. Here comes the milk. I wonder if it's for that porridge. Hats off to the warders and the Plymouth police. They didn't need tear bombs or machine guns to quell the outbreak. Just a real rough and tumble. Of course, one or two of them got a little bit knocked about in the process. But back they come to duty just the same. And here's the man who has taken charge. Mr. Patterson, a prison commissioner, who is determined to assert law and order in... And here's our last glimpse of the prison as we fly back to London with the pictures. Soon after we left, cordons of police and military were quickly thrown around the jail. The authorities, fearing assistance, would be given to the mutineers from the outside. Barricades were hurriedly erected, and there was strictly no admission except on official business. And as the policeman said to our cameraman, Pictures? What, for the films? That ain't business! <laughs> <laughs>